Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane. The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kine. Give the Anarch community my regards. Nice Rodriguez, right? He's upstairs. But watch yourself. 
Maybe you'll get kind of count with the spies around here. Showed up? Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. You got a right to know the score. So Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top of God only knows what plots in line. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans looking for a little power than those can get aside for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to exist. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Them's fighting words, maybe. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is... Of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. And everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch-free state. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the anarchs, didn't want to play the politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence, Mel. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't fitted or switched sides. The most veteran sold on the battlefield. To hell with you, then. You go on back to your tower. Say what you want about me, but not one of us in this bar is a no-good, two-faced, backstabbing, would-be tyrant like that son of a bitch LaCroix. He and his camera are on borrowed time. You tell him nines Rodriguez said so. Thought I told you to get back to your tower. I don't know. I got that meeting right here. Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. If you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed, no reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slay the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the camera is full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body in hand, makes it hard to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. You poor bastard. Listen, LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. 
And as you square things with the Croy, don't give that son of a bitch the time to act. I got my eye on you, kid. Sorry, Henry. But I got the whole city shouting in my ear right now. We'll have to rant some other night. See Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. Then make my way down to your pretty center. Give the Anarch community my regards. Nothing they haven't crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. You have to understand, most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the Unrulia ones. You can't fault all for the boorishness of a few. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Yes, it's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. I'm Ventru, but I don't disparage any of the other clans. All are equally important in maintaining the foundations of the Camarilla, and the elders of each serve as my counsel. Yes. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Yes? Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lark. Yes. He's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Which is... In this age of information, videotape, and weapons of mass destruction, the Camarilla is more necessary than it has ever been. The alternative to thorough secrecy these days is extinction. As long as we exist, so shall kindred society. Which is... Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind, or you would have woken under the ground. Forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Yes. Which is... All I know about the Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and it appears ancient. There could be nothing but dust inside... However, that does not discount the possibility of it containing some kindred artifact, or even a mummy. All of these evidence of the supernatural, and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. 
They're myths. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Which is... Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. What can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. I'll close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Oh, uh, by the way, I paid a visit to our friends on the cliff up there early this morning. Odin's a painful way to go, especially when your kneecaps are on the floor next to you. <laughs> what can I say? Pay back and be a bitch like that. Concerning? Who exactly? What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I'd say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Who exactly? Only seen him a few times. The way I understand it, the guy's untouchable. And I've never seen him without his muscle, that sheriff. Just so you understand, my loyalties are all but written in blood. So, my opinion of the guy is moot. Who exactly? Your typical bloodthirsty movie villain variety vampire. A few years back, I was on bodyguard duty for one of the old boys. Me, a couple of ghouls, and some young vampire types like you. The Sabbat hit us. Tried to pull a dine and dash. Just two of us walked away. And one was the elder. Concerning? Specifically? Santa Monica's quiet, mostly. That is, till you came to town. Not a lot of operators of police here, which is why I like it. I'm not a beach person, personally, but there are some beautiful sunsets. I guess you wouldn't be interested in that, though, would you? Specifically? Downtown's a mess. Always has been. I get called down there sometimes. Nines is people, LaCroix people, a lot of tension in the air. A lot of drugs and a lot of crime. Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. Concerning? Specifically? Not easy, even in this country. A military grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo could take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, Get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. Specifically? What you want is a Spaz-15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. 
Putting together a dragon's breath, too. Sort of. Spits WP rounds. Few nights work. Specifically? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of requests for those. I'm in the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot till they set their friends on fire. They're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there, I had to shoot my way to the state line. Specifically? Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. Here. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Hey, you're not from Jacobson. Jeez. What kind of wood steam? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. Didn't you ever see Fletch? Were they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn Flash photography, brainchild. Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Heinz to Jacobson, uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson, come in, Anderson. Come check this out, I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah?
Hop in. Hey! Uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not wearing you out or anything, am I? I can be. I know I can. I'll do everything I can for you. I... Look. Here. Here. I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I don't want to be... <sighs> important to you. I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place, and when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Evening, Chief. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little... different, though. I wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. I've said all I need to for now. <sighs> I
I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Opened. Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering molly filing out. 